Hey, Roger Brian. said we are insanely confident. I imagine you feel the same. Uh, what's it like to come to camp in, in that frame of mind? Well, I'm excited to get back to work. You know, we've uh, been away. You know, we were here in the spring, but to be able to play some real football again, 11 on 11, and, and compete, it feels good. I was telling PO that after that first team period, it feels good to go out and, and play football. You know, we have some some familiar faces around here and added some new new pieces. Uh, so excited about that. But we have a lot of work to do and. Um, you know, nothing's going to happen before we put the work in. Ryan, what uh, John Robinson told us before practice today that it was 90% vaccination rate for the team. Your thoughts on that number and then noticed you were wearing a mask and stretch also. Have you made a, a decision you know, one way or another on the vaccine? Yourself? Yeah, it's a high number. You know, you look around and uh, almost everybody's either been vaccinated or, or in process. Uh, I'm currently in process right now, so um, that's where it's at. But uh, yeah, I think uh, the NFL has kind of made it clear what they want to happen. And uh, if you don't fall in line, they're kind of trying to make your life kind of miserable with all the protocols. So um, I think you're seeing the trend is that most guys are, are getting vaccinated. You're in the process. Okay. How good to have AJ back, and how did you think he'd look first time out since last year? It's great to have AJ back out here. You know, um, I love throwing the ball to AJ. I love, love uh, being on the same side of the, of the game as him. Uh, he's a great Great dude and, uh, and a great football player. So uh, excited to have him back. Obviously, he's out here working, um, you know, doing some new things and, and excited about that. So, um, you know, he made it, made a couple plays today and, and it looks good doing it. So that's all, that's all good. How do you feel about the competition after AJ, Julio, and Josh? You know, the guys like Chester Rogers, Marcus Johnson, Nesbitt's Patrick, Racing Matt. What do you see in those guys so far? And what do you They're competing. You know, it's a, it's a stacked receiver room. There's no, no doubt about it. Uh, it's going to be a, a big competition throughout this training camp is, is to see who comes out of there. You know, I think that's a nod to, to John Robinson and Variable to be, for being able to put that, that room together and, and that competition together in that room. Um, obviously, big, strong, tough, physical group. So excited to have that competition in that room, and, and those guys will be able to help us throughout the year. Every team goes through change and has new players and coaches come along, but it seems like you guys maybe have a lot more than, than some other teams around the league. How important is it with some of these new faces, with, with Todd and some of the others, that you all get on the same page and it's not just sort of a, a collection of talent, but you're all able to, to work together? Well, it's crucial. I mean, that's one of our, our keys to this training camp is to build a team. You know, we have a bunch of guys uh, right now. Uh, it's not the same team as last year. It's a new team. So we have to actually come together as a team, uh, improve each and every day, and, um, and compete. So um, getting that familiarity with, with coaching staff, with, with teammates who haven't been here before, uh, getting everyone accustomed and up to speed to the way we do things, and then you know holding that standard throughout training camp and throughout the season is going to be crucial. So excited for that process. What does that take? Uh, uh, daily intentionality, uh, communication, uh, focus on the details, uh, being able to work through uh, the the ins and outs of the game, the details of the game, and then uh, being able to communicate it clearly uh, to everyone involved. From your perspective as the distributor, how do you go about making sure that all these mouths are fed? You got AJ, Julio, Derek, etc. I think just going through my process, right? Stick, stick to the, the way I, I do things and preparing, uh, trying to find good matchups on the field and, and not trying to force the ball uh, to anybody on a particular play. You know, the, the targets will come, you know, with, with the play calls and we're going to find the right matchups and find the right coverages. Uh, you can't just force them to, uh, to an individual. And that's a good thing when you have guys all across the field who can get open and catch the ball is, you know, we're, eventually someone's going to find a good matchup out there and, and be in a good position depending on what the coverage is. So uh, excited to have those guys out there. And as we continue to work, get on the same page, you know, things should get better for us. What is the key to getting on the same page with, with Julio Jones? He's a guy that has always gotten a lot of targets. Yeah, I think uh, communications is key, right? When we install and I'm talking through what I, what I expect on, on certain routes, um, we're in walkthroughs, walking through things. You know, he's telling me what he's seeing. I'm telling him what I'm seeing. And then obviously, you know, getting on the practice field and, and getting the balls up in the air to him. That's going to be crucial. How do you how's the with Todd, the transition to Todd? How is he different from ours? Or how do you think this will look different on the field? Yeah, I don't want to compare the two guys. They're, they're both themselves. And that's all we want them to be is, is to be individuals, be themselves, and um, do the best job they can do. So I'm excited to have Todd on board. Uh, I've enjoyed talking with him over the past couple years as a tight end coach, and then now as a, as a coordinator, I enjoyed our process of getting to know each other in this new role, and uh, the way he the way he thinks about our offense and, and our concepts and, and creating matchups we like. 
really excited about, about him in that spot. So a lot of work to do, but, but looking forward to it. I know you're not combing the internet reading this stuff. It, it, no? it's, a popular, it's a popular thing for people to, to analyze you and say, uh, reliant on Henry, uh, you know, reliant on the system. It seems to me that's a good thing, that, that you're successful in a, in a good system. Is it funny to you the lengths that people will go to, to find stuff like that to diminish you? That's their prerogative. You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I'm going to go out and do the best I can each and every day to, to get better and lead this team to win. So um, at the end of the day, if I'm leading this team to wins, that's all that really matters. Some people apparently will never be convinced that you're not injury prone. Did you have to convince yourself after those last couple of years in Miami, or you, did you feel like that was just some bad luck? Or? Yeah, it was just a couple of unfortunate situations, you know. Um, was really out of my hands. You know, look at my career before that. I was able to play almost five straight years without missing a game. Um, and then I kind of had a little bit of a bad run there uh, with, with major injuries. So um, it's kind of how the, the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know, the way the, way the ball falls. Uh, sometimes it goes in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. And there for a little bit, it didn't fall in my favor. And uh, glad we're past that. Did you ever change the way you play at all? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I still try to go out and compete and uh, play tough, you know, be smart when I'm running, try to, you know, not take any dumb hits, get down uh, if I'm in the open field. But, you know, it's a critical situation, and, and the first down is uh, is on the line. The game's on the line, and I'm like, two yards from a first down, I have a collision coming. Yeah, I'm going to try to take on the defender and, and find a way to get the first down and, and keep the chains moving. So um, just finding that balance of being smart and taking care of yourself, making sure you're not taking un unnecessary hits, and also competing and, and uh, finding a way to win. Process like for you. You got a couple of new veterans in Josh and Julio, obviously, but also a couple of rookies in Dez and Racy. Trying to get both those guys up to speed, maybe knowing they're going to be a different, maybe learning curves. Yeah, no doubt. Everyone's different, right? Everyone that comes in, whether you're, you know, Julio's, I think, in year 11, or you got a rookie coming in, everyone learns a little bit different, different experiences, uh, and at different speeds. So just being able to communicate, uh, talk through the installs, uh, each route individually, what I'm expecting. Uh, we get to the, uh, the walkthroughs, those are crucial for us. Uh, kind of take the physical taxing off and be able to really just communicate uh, the nuances of the route with the different leverages and the different coverages. And then, uh, you know, take advantage of, of every rep. We get the rep, we're going to make a count and then learn from it on tape. And I think making sure that as we watch the tape and communicate what happened and, and how we uh, either agree with what happened or, or want to make a change with what happened, that everyone in the room can learn from that and uh, not make that same mistake again. Garrett said during the offseason that that Ravens loss still haunts him. Going back to kind of your performance in that game, is that something that's motivating the whole team? Is how last season, after what was a, a good season, 11 win season, division championship, how it ended? Yeah, it's definitely a sour taste, you know. I think, uh, I mean, I, I can say that, that no one in that locker room felt felt great after that. You know, it was, it was a rough, rough inning for us after, uh, you know, a promising promising year being able to win the division was good but um, that's not where we compete in this game is, is not to win the division it's that's a step but ultimately is to uh, to win a championship so um, yeah sour taste in the mouth you know tough ending for us and I think it motivates a lot of the guys that are in in this uh, in this locker room but at the same time it's a, it's a new team a lot of new faces that weren't here for that and uh, have to find a way to come together with all the new faces and, and new coaches and uh, find a way to compete for a championship this year do you think that's influencing guys' decisions to go ahead and do it? Did it influence yours? Oh, no doubt. Uh, I wouldn't have gotten the vaccine if, uh, without the protocols that they're enforcing on us. Um, I think it's a, a personal decision for everyone. Everyone has to make the best decision for them and their families. That's kind of our mindset in this building. Um, but they're trying to force your hand, and they ultimately have forced a lot of hands by, by the protocols. Um, which is, uh, you know, everyone has their own opinions on. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I love this game. I love this team. I want to be able to compete and, and do the things that, um, you know, I think are important to, to build chemistry and, and win football games. So ultimately that, that forced my hand into in getting the vaccine. Right. Other than the protocols, any conversations in the, in the midst of making that decision that helped ease your mind, medical professionals, people that were brought into the team, what were the conversations like in you? Through that yeah, there were a ton of conversations. You know, the team brought people in to talk to us, doctors to talk to us. There was a lot of conversations in the spring. Uh, I think our numbers were obviously lower in the spring with, with who was vaccinated. Um, 
you know, had a ton of conversations in the spring, strong opinions uh, about it as, as are everywhere. And um, ultimately, I think, like you said, we almost 90% or close to 90% of the guys are, are either vaccinated or in process. So uh, you kind of see what, what the trend is. And um, like I said, our, for, our hand was kind of forced if you didn't want to you know, abide by all the, uh, the hefty protocols. I guess, was your mind put at ease amid any of these conversations? Um, not really. <laughs> no. Like I said, you know, I, I wouldn't have gotten the vaccine if, if not for really intensive protocols and, you know, not being able to, to gather with teammates and, you know, separate locker room, separate meeting room, separate cafeteria, um, all those type of things where you're losing, you know, the team chemistry, the team bond, uh, which I think is, is so important. Um, so uh, I think that probably had a, a lot to do with, with guys ultimately getting vaccinated. I guess concern, Ryan. What was your biggest concern? I guess why would you have chosen otherwise? Was it you know, concern about after effects, or what was your uh, rationale? Yeah, I mean, I I'm torn right now. Do I want to get into this? Uh, I'm going to pass. I just you know, there's so many strong opinions on it, and uh, you know, everyone has their their own opinion on it, and I'll just leave it at that. Hey Ryan, so many high expectations for this team amongst the fans coming into this year. As the leader of the team, I, what do, you, what do you have to do to kind of keep everybody focused day in, day out, not worry about what the expectations are? We haven't done crap yet, you know. We got a, we got a bunch of guys out there who are, uh, are competing, but we haven't done anything yet. You know, it's day one. A lot of mistakes were made today. I made mistakes today. They were made all over the field. So um, we have to work day in and day out, continue to fine tune the way we do things, how we expect to play. Uh, raise our standard, our conditioning, obviously, being day one is, is not where it needs to be. It'll continue to get better. Um, our focus, our, our mindset, we'll just continue to improve as we go through training camp. But, you know, I, I take the onus on me to, to go out there and, and drive that train, to, to push these guys uh, day in and day out on, on the details, on the tempo and the way we play the game. And, um, you know, we have a bunch of veteran guys who love the game and, and want to get better and, and realize there's no front runners on this team. We realize that yeah, we have, have some, some talent on this team, but it doesn't really mean anything. You know, the most talented teams often don't end up winning a championship. It's only when they come together and, and um, form a true team and find a way to win tough games. So we realize that and are, are looking forward to the challenge and, and looking forward to the work that's going to be put in here in August.